Uh, eruption of the Sabanja volcano in Peru has resumed. This is one of the few active volcanoes at the moment in the world, according to latest data that we have, is now active again. As you can see from the satellite images, there is an ash cloud rising from the volcano. Uh, it is a part of the central volcanic zone of the Andes. There are three zones there. This is a central one. And it is one of the most active. It's almost six kilometer high, 5,976 meters. And for that uh, uh, tall volcano to be able to erupt, it needs really, really a lot of pressure in the, uh, in the magma uh, to be able actually to rise to that level. It needs pumping up. Uh, is very visible from the, although it is not the tallest mountain in that region, but it is very visible. The higher than that 6,000 uh, meters volcan um, volcanic uh, areas in that region. Um, it is a major threat if it is approached by the airplanes, but fortunately it is not on the main row route of the airplanes. Only Peru and some of the other countries actually use that airspace around it. As you can see, it's quite high. The pyroclastics that rise from this uh, volcano is quite high. Uh, in the daylight, you can see it is a remote part of the Peru, so uh, it's not really easily accessible. At the same time, there is not much danger due to it. But we have been able to map it. There is a map of it. 6,000 meters is a very important you know, elevation. It's because of the subduction of the uh, Pacific plate under the uh, South American plate, we have this volcano, like a pimple erupting. Uh, 